Welcome back, adventurers, to another episode of Underdark Cellars. Today, we are making the twice-baked cockatrice wings from the Heroes Feast. Let's dive right in and get started. For this, you'll need a cutting board, an extremely sharp knife, and chicken wings. But before we can start, chicken anatomy with Underdark Cellars. Now, these are not your 12-year-old brother's boneless chicken wing nugget things. These are actual chicken wings. So we need to divide this into the drumette and flat and wing it. So we're gonna eliminate the wing tip. So we're going to take our knife and make an incision between the radius and humerus at this elbow joint and separate it there. And then we're going to also take our knife and make an incision here between the ulna and the wing tip. So we'll divide it into three parts. We're gonna set the wing tips aside and then we'll just have the drumette and the flat or wing it. Now make sure your knife is very, very sharp. I will link the knife sharpener I use. If you use a dull knife with this, it's likely that you will probably cut yourself. So please be very careful. But you can see I'm palpating to find the joint between the humerus and the radius and ulna and I'm just pressing down really firm and that will separate the joint and then we're going to just do one more slice to cut through any remaining fat. Put those aside. I'm actually going to store the wing tips in a gallon Ziploc bag in the freezer so I can make stock with those. Then I'm going to transfer the chicken wing parts to a gallon Ziploc bag. You can do this in a large bowl, but my bowl mysteriously disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. It was in my cupboard and then it was not. So if you see a large metal bowl somewhere, it might be mine. To this, we're going to add our baking powder, our salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. And we're just going to massage this into the chicken wings, make sure everything is evenly coated before we pop these on our baking trays. All right, I'm taking a baking tray and I'm lining it with some aluminum foil to collect any of the drippings, but we're going to take an oven safe baking rack. Double check that it's oven safe. Not all of them are. Uh, some of them have coatings that will come off and we're going to spread these out evenly. I tried putting it on one, but um, it just wasn't going to work. It was not gonna cook evenly, so I split it into two. And then we're going to pop these in the oven at 300 degrees for 40 minutes, rotating once halfway through. And then once that's done, we're going to crank the heat up to 425 and cook these for another 40 minutes until they're nice and golden. Again, rotating once halfway through since I have two racks. Once that's done, we're gonna pull these out and we are going to sprinkle them with some garam masala. It's an Indian spice. And then we're going to pop them back in the oven for another 10 minutes before we pull them out and they're done. Now you can serve these as is and they're fine, but I prefer mine a little saucier. So I tossed mine in like a spicy barbecue and a slightly spicy Parmesan garlic. So let's go ahead and dive right into final thoughts and we can wrap this up. First on the list is the book lies to you. Okay, so if you are looking at the images for the book, they do not remove their wingtips. No, they leave them on. They leave the entire thing connected for illustration purposes. It, it is not an accurate like portrayal of what this looks like at the end. So just be aware of that. Like it's gonna have you break it down and that's fine because we want wings, right? We, these are wings right here in front of me. These are wings, but the book has them all as one piece. So that's my first, my first gripe. Next, I would have done a wet brine for the chicken wings. I would have put them in a salt water solution, probably added some baking soda to help with the browning of the skin. Um, but that would have helped tenderize the meat, which, you know, you don't really need for chicken wings, but it would have helped them crisp up a lot more and make them a little juicier. Additionally, I would have put on either a dry rub or a seasoning blend before baking. These only really had salt, pepper, and garam masala, which garam masala is not the problem here. I love garam masala, but the problem is that the editors 
only had garam masala as a seasoning and they didn't include like a sauce. If you're going to be really restrictive on the seasonings on your chicken wings, I would at the very least include a recipe for a sauce to pair with these. So the flavor was kind of lacking for me, which is why I ended up tossing it in a spicy barbecue and in a Parmesan garlic because it just needed something to elevate it. And you know, it just, I was a little disappointed in that. So in conclusion, would I make this recipe again? No. Will I make wings from scratch again? Yes. With the changes that I had suggested. I think this would be great for a game night or D&D &D night. It's an easy people pleaser. You can really tailor it to individuals' tastes, but ultimately I don't think I would make this recipe again. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please smash that like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel and about 60% of you, and you know who you are, are not subscribed. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down below. I love to hear from you and I'm able to answer any questions you might have. And you know, share this video with someone who is notoriously late to your D&D group and you want to guilt into bringing, into bringing good snacks next time. So with that said, adventurers, I hope you have a stellar rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.